realtors and hope our viewers can do uh, what they can. Let's talk about the uh, weather on this Monday afternoon as we take a live look at Lucas Oil Stadium. The sun is out, Kelly. It looks like a very nice afternoon. Absolutely. The January thaw continues today. We do a beautiful blue sky across the area. This is our Noblesville cam. A beautiful shot there. Again, a lot of snow depth there over the weekend, but many of it has melted. And here's a look from our Nashville weather bug cam. Dry conditions and a lot of blue sky. We're going to see a little bit of cloud coverage pushing in a little bit later on today. But in the meantime, just a very mild day. Currently 42 degrees in Broad Ripple, 43 in Greenwood. It's 41 in Anderson and 41 in Shelbyville. It's 37 degrees in Marion, 43 in Greensburg. And already 47 degrees in Seymour, that sunshine really making a big difference across central Indiana. It's currently 38 degrees. Winds are light out of the south at 6 miles per hour. We do have a wind chill value, making it feel like it's 33, so really not too bad at all. We are tracking a few changes. We do have this upper level disturbance. This will shift on into the area a little bit later on tonight, bringing us a chance of some light precipitation. In the meantime, we are going to enjoy a lot of sunshine this afternoon. So let's take a look here at future track 13 and uh, notice it does bring in some more clouds as we head into the evening hours. But all in all, it's going to be a fantastic afternoon. So hopefully you can get out and enjoy, maybe walk the dog a little bit longer today. Temperatures climbing to 45 degrees with winds out of the south. Southeast. It'll be pretty light in nature, but then later on tonight we'll start to see that disturbance move in. Very spotty in nature with this precipitation. It could be in the form of rain, possibly some freezing rain, maybe even a few isolated snow showers. Not expecting any kind of accumulation out of this. So it will be a pretty quiet overnight with that chance of light precipitation and winds will be out of the south with temperatures falling to around 30 degrees. Now take a little wider look here on Tuesday. Again, that disturbance does move across the Great Lakes area. Then we're tracking the next system that will start to push in as we head towards Wednesday. So pretty quiet tomorrow, but uh, temperatures will be climbing into the low 40s, still running well above that average of 35 degrees for this time of year. Now Wednesday, we have another disturbance that moves in. This will also bring us a chance of some light precipitation. May start off as a few snow sh uh, showers in some of our north central Indiana area. A little bit of rain, possibly south of I-70. So this is something that we'll continue to monitor for you. Sean Ash will have more details about that coming up at 5 and 6 tonight. Now, this is our next storm system that we are watching out for because this one looks a little bit more significant. Looks like we could see some maybe some snow accumulation with this. As it drifts out of Canada, it will start to slide into central Indiana as we head into Sunday night on into Monday. So this will be our next best chance of seeing any kind of accumulating snow as the system pushes in, so that is something we'll monitor for you as we get closer. Today, though, just a fantastic winter day with a high of 45 degrees. Temperatures fall to 30 tomorrow morning. High of 42 on Tuesday, mainly a quiet day. We may start off with a little bit of that light precipitation early Tuesday morning, then a chance of a rain-snow mix on Wednesday, high of 38. We could see a few snow flurries on Thursday. Then temperatures rebound back into the low 40s Friday and Saturday, and then we are tracking that chance of possibly some accumulating snow on Sunday. Scott?